What's up guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to bring you a little bit of an update on the Mach 1 racer that I put together in the last build. Um, I haven't yet got the new camera to mount. I haven't yet put in the new hardware. I did change out the way that the VT or that the antenna is mounted. So that's something, uh, but it's the camera still mounted the same way. What I did do though, is I changed the hole that I'm mounting the camera to, and that let me finally get the sort of tilt that I was looking for with this thing. And let me tell you, once I get the tilt I need, this thing's a whole lot of fun. Um, I still wasn't getting much faster laps than I was getting with my uh, X Hover Racer, but I was doing them a lot more consistently. I felt like I had much better control. I felt like the turns were way more crisp. Um, and that's not to say the X Hover wasn't turning well. It was turning really, really well. It's the same fantastic flying machine that I had before. Um, but it's such a lightweight, this thing just really made that difference. Um, I was loving racing this thing. Now, unfortunately, I seem to have damaged my uh, video transmitter in the process, so it made it real hard to see towards the end of the day. Um, but if you bear with me, you can look at, even through the static, you can see how crisp it's going through the turns. Now, what I was able to do is, around this track that I set up here, I was able to get about 16.2, 16.3 seconds uh, with this guy pretty consistently, lots of laps in the 16s. I did manage to put through a 15.5 on the X hover though, um, but I really think if the video transmitter didn't break out and I could have flown this longer, um, I think I would have beaten that 15.5 with this thing. What I can say is that all the laps I did with this, except for the heavy static ones, were done first early in the day before I was as familiar with the track. Once I got familiarity with this, I switched to the X hover, um, and then I started doing really well, but I think I would have done even better with this. Regardless, that thing's fantastic, this thing's fantastic, but that lightweight, the crispness around the turn is just addictive, I love it. Um, can't say enough about it, except for this mounting hardware. So I'm really hoping when the new micro cameras get in, it's gonna really solve my problems. If you look at this thing, the tilt's pretty aggressive, probably around 50 degrees, that's where I like it. And it's hard to even keep it there the way I have it. I'll show you the way it's mounted. Not ideal, but uh, it's working for me. Anyway, in case you guys were curious, I just wanted to do some more flight uh, tests with this thing. I wanted to bring that to you. I wanted to show you how well this thing was performing. And um, yeah, now once I get the new camera in there, I'll do the same set of tests again. I'll bring those to you too. But in the meantime, I thought this would at least be helpful. So I ran this test over a few different days, but here on the last day, I'm showing you the Martian 3 first with the GoPro on it. This is probably my heaviest build. You'd probably call it my cow. Um, but it's real easy to maintain the control of the altitude just because of that added weight. Um, so I find it pretty easy to rip around a course, but I do notice my times aren't quite as good. Um, but I think this looks pretty good. I feel like I'm doing real well with the Martian. Um, I really like how the thing flies. I love those motors. Overall, I really like that build. Um, this is kind of the baseline we're setting, a heavy, heavy build. Um, and then we'll jump into some of the other crafts. Yeah, definitely happy with how this thing flies. I feel like these are real good laps, uh, but they could definitely be faster. All right, so now this is the X Hover carrying a GoPro. So still relatively heavy, but it's about, you know, 60, 70 grams lighter than the Martian build. Um, but this is a pretty good racer for carrying a GoPro. Still feels really good. Love the way it's going around the course. It is noticeably faster than the Martian, um, but still I know it could be faster. We have real crisp lines. Uh, things are feeling good. Altitude control being handled pretty well. Pretty happy with this. All right, so now with this one, now we're racing the Race Day Quads Mach 1. Um, this thing really rips around. You can tell the way it takes the turns. It's just a little bit different than the other ones when carrying the GoPro. It's a lot lighter. I love the, just the snap and then go in the other direction. Just taking turns feels different with it, even those long arching ones. It just takes the turn quicker than the other ones. If I want to change directions, it just does it quicker than the other ones. I'm really, really liking that reduction in weight for a racer. Really, really liking it around the course. All right, so now, last thing, I'm going to show the X hover when I took the GoPro off. This is what I was running at the end of the day. Um, and I actually got the fastest laps with it. But you can tell the turns, they're not quite as crisp. It has a little bit more momentum going to that turnaround. Um, but it still flies amazingly well. It's a really fast craft. Um, definitely enjoyed flying this one. You can see it's just, it's not as snappy in the turn, but it's still fast. So like I said, these were actually the fastest laps of the day. Um, but I still enjoyed the other build more for racing just because I had a little bit more control, even if a little bit less speed. 
Thanks for checking out part two of this thing, and I can't wait for part three. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it right there real short today, but uh, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.